Hi, welcome to How to Repair. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to change a base element. Now the customer brought this appliance in. It's a single built-in oven. You can normally find the model number for your oven on a label either inside, at the bottom, sometimes on the rear of the machine. Now this oven is heating but it's not getting to the required temperature. It's only actually getting to about 100, 120 degrees and the customer says it's just not cooking the food. Now on some occasions it may be a thermostatic fault. With a fan oven, this is a round circular element that's in the back of the oven. There can be a problem with that. You can see other videos on this on the website or on our YouTube channel. But this is a conventional convection oven. This means it has a grill element, either a dual or single, and it also has a base element. It does not have a fan assisted element. Now, basically, in my opinion, one of the elements have gone faulty in this oven. Now, the way to check this is to take the appliance out, then we'll need to take the top off and the rear of the machine, and we'll need to use a multimeter to test the elements. So I'm just going to undo the three screws on either side at the top. And then we'll remove the back plate. Now if you have a different type of oven, we have lots of videos on our YouTube channel which will help you diagnose the problems with your oven. Now we're going to remove the back plate. This is quite an old oven, but the customer didn't want to replace it. Right, we have the electrical panel here. I'm just going to remove the earth. Of course, if you've got the appliance out of situ already, you've already disconnected it from the electricity supply. You can see that we've got an element at the top here and an element at the bottom. Now, I can tell because there is a earth wire, two feeds and two neutrals. The neutral goes from the top here down to the base element and across uh, the live also goes on one side as well and basically when it's on normal oven mode not grill it uses half the element at the top on this model of cooker and the element at the bottom this is a dual element at the top so when it's on conventional oven it's only using half the element and using half uh, sorry the base element as well so what we're going to do now is firstly test the element with continuity on the multimeter. So we're going to take two wires off from the right hand side of the element. So we have the outer circuit, which we have continuity. We have the inner part of the element, which has continuity. And if we change it to Ohm's reading, we are then able to calculate if the elements are correct in their wattage. So the wattage roughly is 63 ohms at 240 volts, which gives me roughly 900 watts on the outer part of the element. On the inner part of the element, we have... connection there. We have roughly 39 ohms and 39 ohms is giving me 1400 watts of element which is about right. Now we'll take the wires off on the base element and we have no continuity which is basically telling me the element is open circuit you could also put it onto ohms. It is giving me some type of reading, 3, which is nothing. Uh, I actually have the new element here because I knew what the fault was. I'm just making this video for other people. 
So this is the new base element. Now this is a 1200 watt element. So if we turned it onto continuity, of course we've got continuity. Turn it to ohms reading. We've got roughly 47. 47 gives us 1215. Of course, it does vary slightly with your multimeter, and uh, that's because they have to be calibrated normally once a year, but there is always a little bit of differential. Uh, so what we're going to do is fit this new element to the cooker, and this should solve the heating problem completely. So on this element, the insulation is warm on this, it's still reasonable condition. Uh, we might actually want to put a bit extra in here, but it's a very old cooker and it won't make a lot of difference. Uh, there's two screws on this, so we need to undo these. Slides over, yeah. Come back. Ah, <laughs> that's our problem. And as you can see, the element has completely blown away. Yeah, there's some bits in here. So that's our fault with the appliance. Remember, using your model number and uh, possibly sending us pictures as well will be able to help you identify any element you need for any of the appliances and we also have a technical assistance channel where you can ask us questions and we'll try and help you with your uh, cooker or oven so I'll just put that to one side we'll now insert the new element this piece is to actually keep the element up off the base. So we'll slot this in, moving these wires out of the way for a minute. Goes in and goes across. Now we'll put the two screws back in. Remember, at our YouTube channel and the website, we have hundreds of videos on different repairs on cookers, washing machines, tumble dryers, etc. So do remember if you do need any help you can always use the website, ask us a question and we'll try and send you a video to help you with your appliance. That one's in. Screws don't line up correctly on this. Cross a little bit. Sometimes these are slightly out of line. Manage just to get it across. Sometimes these holes are not lined up correctly by the manufacturers. That's all done now, so we'll connect the electrics back up. Put the electrics back on the grill. Reconnect to the earth wire, which is very important. Okay, had the oven on test now, and you can see it's going off 
at the thermostat and cycling and working its way up to 200 degrees. I hope you found this video helpful. You can also remember at the website you can find other tutorials on different makes of appliance, how to change fan oven elements, how to test elements, how to change fan motors and many more videos. Thanks very much indeed for watching this video. Please remember to support the website by shopping with us and remember you can always use our technical advice centre for any help that you need. Thanks for watching.